Have you ever let doubt creep in right before you swing? That self talk can really throw you off, right? We've all been there. Today, we are diving into how the way you talk to yourself can either hold you back or help you reach your full potential on the golf course. Hi, everyone. My name is Kumiko. I'm a mental golf coach. Before we get started, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. And I want to share my book, That's a Golf Devil Whisper in Your Ear. It's packed with tips and stories to help you play better and enjoy life more. Available on Amazon, link in the description. We all been there, standing on the tee box, full of doubt, thinking, I hope I don't mess this up. That kind of self-talk can completely throw off your game. But what if you could turn that around? Many golfers face mental obstacles like negative thinking or too much pressure. And then these issues can be even harder to overcome than the physical ones. It's important to recognize how your inner dialogue affects your game. One of the biggest challenges is, is self-doubt. You know the voice that whispers, you're not good enough, or you're not gonna make this part. That's the kind of talk that can sabotage even if you are playing great at the moment. Instead of letting those thoughts spiral, practice catching them in the moment. Tell yourself something more empowering like, I met a putt like this before, or I got this. It's all about shifting your mindset from fear of failure to focusing on what you can do. Positive self-talk is a simple but powerful tool. Think about how you would encourage a friend if they were in the same position. Now apply the same kindness to yourself. Replace thoughts like, I always mess up, with, I practice this and I can handle it. A great way to work this into your game is by building it into your push-up routine. Take a deep breath, calm your mind, and then give yourself a quick boost with a positive words. It could be something simple like focus, trust, commit, relax, or any words that give you positive feelings. That more you practice this, that more natural it will become. And then you'll start feeling more confident when you step up to hit it. While we talked about visualization in the previous video, today I want to focus more on staying present. When you are out there, it's easy to get stuck thinking about past mistakes or future outcomes, right? Mindfulness helps you stay in the moment, focusing only on the shot in front of you. This way, you can quiet that critical inner voice and focus on what's actually happening now. Do your best to focus on one shot at a time. And here's another tip. You want to build the habit of observing your thoughts. When the pressure starts building, try reframing it. Instead of thinking, I cannot afford to mess up. Telling yourself, I can handle this. It's all about shifting the energy from fear to excitement. So next time you are on the course, pay attention to your self-talk. With practice, you will notice a big shift in your confidence and in performance. Remember, you need to work on your mental game just as much as your physical game. When you do, 
you will not only play better but also enjoy your time on the course a whole lot more. If this video was helpful, hit the like button and drop a comment below about how self-talk affects your game. I'd love to hear from you. Well, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.